Hey guys, it's Steph, and finally, the long-awaited nighttime routine is here. This video was requested for a decent amount of time, and I finally got to it tonight. So, let's have a Steph Pappas night together. So it's about like seven o'clock right now, and I just finished filming a video. As I'm filming a video right now as well. <laughs> but I had dinner about two hours ago, so I'm going to work out. Trust me, I don't do that much, but let me put on some sweatpants. What I try to do, not every night, I mean, unless I feel like it, but um, I go on the treadmill, and I know tons of you guys ask me what my workout routine is, and you want me to do a whole dedicated workout routine video, but I don't do that much. Um, like, I don't even really get that sweaty. But, like, it makes me feel better when I go on the treadmill. So, that's what I do. <laughs> and I'll bring you guys along with me. I'm not going to take my makeup off yet. Because I like to do that when I'm, like, showering. Because the makeup wipes, like, make my face so oily. And then, like, I need to wash it right after. So, I'm just going to wait until after I work out. But I don't get that sweaty. So, let me just show you guys what I do. Okay, so here is my treadmill. So, what I do is I go on 10 incline, and then if my legs are killing me, I'll go down to 5, but nothing lower than that. I'll do it until I get like a mile if I'm still having fun. I'll do like longer than that, 2 miles or whatever. Um, but the treadmill is super boring, so whenever I get bored, I usually like get off. But I try to at least go to a mile. And I don't run, um, it like would be so hard to run on this high of an incline. I usually stay around 3, 4, and like 5. Or like three and like four and then also I have this one five pound weight right here and I will just like go like this and switch off arms um, during that just to tone my arms up a little bit okay so this is on three speed oh I don't have a hair dry but I mean walking like this it gets me like hot but I'm not gonna be like super sweaty we're almost at our mile and I just wanted to say I usually walk cookie too um like every other day do my arms getting nice and thick yeah Ooh, my noodles this arm though I feel like looks kind of strong no maybe not <laughs> no 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 <laughs> okay guys so I did a little bit over a mile on the treadmill and now when I'm done I just kind of stretch a little bit and do some crunches some sit-ups and sometimes if I'm feeling a plank, sometimes if I'm feeling squats. So that's why I can't do a workout routine. I don't really have a workout routine. But basically, I just do whatever and it makes me feel better. And that's basically why I do it. So yeah. Do you guys have any tips? <laughs> you could try and give me them. But <laughs> I'm kind of like, I just do whatever <laughs> but I know it does something because it's better than nothing so therefore I will keep doing whatever like right there I'm kind of done <laughs> okay done working out feeling good like I should so now I'm going to take my makeup off and I just use Neutrogena clean and clear wipes. I know I get lots of questions asking me like how I remove my waterproof makeup, which these are actually fake eyelashes, but I do usually use waterproof mascara. And everyone asks me how I get it off. I just use these, just one wipe. You gotta scrub for like a little bit of time, but yeah, I just use these. So I just take off my foundation that has literally been on since I woke up. I hate wearing makeup like all day long. At least like foundation. Like eye makeup, I don't really care because you don't feel it. But foundation is just so like sticky and thick. I want to try and find like a new one I like, but they're also expensive. And I don't even know what to buy. And I have such oily skin and dry skin and I don't even know. So I was just buy the same one. And next up, I wash my face with Sulfa Cleanse and... This face brush from Clinique. Love this thing. If I didn't use this, I know I would have pimples. So usually I do like take my makeup off and then wash my face in the shower, but I'm gonna do a face mask before I go in the shower and bath. Just so like, cause it's so much easier to wash a face mask off like in the shower cause you have to scrub it so much. So I'm gonna do that today. And then I still have to take my eye makeup off. But to take my eye makeup off, I need to take my contacts out. So I'm waiting a little bit. So 
I like this Clinique charcoal mask a lot, so I'm going to be doing that one today because I've not done a face mask in a while and my skin definitely needs it. So now it is almost 9 o'clock. I'm going to let my face mask sit for a little bit and I'm going to start editing a video. I usually prefer to edit at nighttime or like right when I wake up, but I'm going to edit something tonight while my face mask dries. They're stale. <laughs> okay, you guys, my mask is fully dried. I'm going to get in the shower, and today is a washing hair day. So I just have these Bath & Body Works shower gels in here. I always, like, change them up. Like, I never use, like, the same one. But the Be Enchanted is one of my favorites for sure. And then I use the Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner. And then sometimes I use these ones as well. I like to switch off. This Laura Mercier stuff is amazing. It's almond coconut milk honey bath and it comes with a honeycomb and you put the honeycomb in here and then you put it under your water when you're having a bath and it bubbles up so nice and smells amazing. I also like using this Moroccan oil hair mask and then I also love using body scrubs. This one is really cool. It's unicorn dreams. And this stuff is also pretty great. This is acai, your boobies. I saw this on TikTok and really wanted it. I've almost used the whole jar, even though you can't like tell, but it is down to the bottom. And I don't know if I've noticed like a huge difference, but it smells really good and it lathers up nice. And it's really pretty. Okay guys, I'm fresh out of the shower and the bath. I like to take both sometimes. And now what I put on my skin is CeraVe. I put this on my skin in the mornings and at night. Gotta keep my skin moisturized because I use like acne medicine that dries out your skin. And so hopefully I'm not wrinkly when I'm old. <laughs> yeah, my skin like literally peels if I don't put lotion on. So I don't know how some people like don't, don't do it. Like I actually like have to or else my skin is peeling off my face and it looks like gross, you know? Okay, so now that my face is moisturized, I'm using Catherine McBroom's Lip Balm. I really like it. And also her eye cream, which I've actually been using this like every day recently. And I've been liking it. So I just put some under each eye and that was kind of a lot. And you rub it in. So then after that, I put one more thing on my face and this is, oh, I forgot to use my clarifying lotion. Okay, well usually I use Clinique clarifying lotion. Forgot to use that today, but I did use it this morning, so, oh well. But I use this Retin A Micro, it's like acne medicine from the doctor, but I put this on every single night. I've been using this for a long time. So honestly, I don't know if I would stop it, if my skin would like break out or what, but I've just been using it for a while, so I just like stay on my routine. And also, I got one of these things. I forget what it's called. I got it on Amazon, and you like push the fluids out of your face. Well, this one's for your jaw, but you can also like use it on your face. But I've been doing this. And then I also use like the cold roller ball too. I use that more in the morning though. But yeah, this thing's fun. Gives you a good jawline. I saw people using it on TikTok and they showed like before and after results. So I was like, might as well get one of these. And then for my hair, I'm going to put some of this Moroccan oil hair treatment. Because I have like really dry hair. So this like oil really helps. So I just kind of put it in more like the ends. And then I work my way up a little bit. And yeah. There we go. That is my nighttime skincare and hair routine. I just let my hair air dry. 
I usually don't go to bed for another couple hours, so it'll be like mostly dry by then. Okay, so now that I got my face done and my hair, now I can put lotion all over my body because then the oils will be just going on my body instead of in my hair. So I'm just gonna use this lotion from Bath and & Body and put it everywhere. So right now it is 10.30 and I still have some editing that needs to be finished up for tonight. So I'm gonna be doing that for a little bit. I'm still drink. oh I need to refill my water. I will go get that soon. But yeah, so I'm gonna be doing this for a little bit and yeah, that is basically what my night consists of. Well, you guys, it is almost midnight, and I just got done editing, so I'm done for the night, and I'm ready to relax and just watch some TV. I got some new glasses because literally, I have like 10 pairs of glasses, and like I have either stepped or sat on every single pair. So, I need to get some new ones because I only had like two left, and I didn't really like those. I always lose them. So I like having a bunch of pairs so that if I can't find a pair, or like I don't feel like looking for it, I like know where my drawer full of glasses are. So I'm just gonna try these on. I haven't opened them up yet, but let's see what we picked out. I ordered these a couple weeks ago, hopefully with the correct prescription. Um, but yeah, I love buying glasses just online because they're cheaper and if you break them, it's like not a big deal. Cause the ones that like glasses places are so expensive. So the first pair I got are these wire ones. Ew. These are so ugly. Maybe because like I don't look that good right now. They seem really big. Well. Let's, okay, let's check out the next pair. I don't know about those. Shoot, I think I got like the medium because, whoa, look at my hair. I think it showed like small, medium, or large, and I think I chose medium because I was looking at the reviews. But, okay, let's see what this pair looks like. Okay, this pair is just a simple black pair. Okay, I definitely like these ones, I think. My ears are lopsided, so my stuff never like sits straight on my face, but these ones look pretty cute. Okay, now let's look at the third pair. I think the third pair is kind of similar to that pair, but maybe like more tortoise style, if I can remember. Yeah, ooh, these ones I think I'll like. Okay, let's see. Cute. I think I like these the best. The first ones, eh, I don't know. I'll have to like, looking through the viewfinder, so once I watch this video back and edit it, if I had like makeup on, but these are cute. Oh, I like. Okay, well, definitely got the right prescription I can see now. I'm gonna move my umbrella light and then turn on my TV and watch some YouTube and probably some Bachelor or something. Usually go to bed, depending on how tired I am, ranges from like one to three. We'll say like two in the morning I go to sleep. But you guys, that is my nighttime routine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really tired, actually. I know this video was very requested for a while, so hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about my routine, just let me know down below. And follow my Instagram at StuffPappas so you guys can DM me messages and give me video ideas on what you want to see from me and all that jazz. Like today, someone sent me a picture of my DMs um, from a necklace on Shein of a chicken nugget. And I was like, I need it. I'm ordering it. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, click my notification bell. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.